All right, y'all, before we get into this, let me show y'all my morning weigh-in. Put one foot on the scale real quick, take it off, then you step on the scale. You want to weigh yourself as soon as you wake up. 168 pounds, and I'm holding my phone, and it's a heavy phone, Samsung Galaxy S20. Now, I'm going to go ahead and eat these two Dan and Lighten Fits. Um, I'm going to eat two, maybe three of these bananas. Add my calories up. These are 80 calories a piece. These I count as 100 calories a piece. The only way to really know how many calories you're eating when you're eating something that doesn't have anything on the label is to weigh it on the full scale. We ain't even that serious, man. Only way I would get that serious is if I was doing a bodybuilding kind of competition or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Not just to get leaner than the average person, which I'm already leaner than the average person. So I weigh 168 pounds while I'm holding my phone. This phone probably a pound and a half. I don't know if it's a pound. Whatever. Still. And that's after two cheat days, right? A lot of people all oh, let me get some advice on cheat days. No matter what, if that scale would have said I gained 10 pounds on my two cheat days, which a lot of people cheat days, it will. You know, like I said, I control my cheat days. But if it told me I weighed 10 pounds, I would still stick to the same way of eating I stick to. I wouldn't make up for it. I just get right back on track. I'm shooting for 2,000 calories. I go back to shooting for 2,000 calories. You know why? Don't trip. On two or three, four pounds, five pounds, or whatever you gain after your cheat day, if you have a cheat day, don't trip on them little couple pounds. Because guess what? Those pounds are not. They are not fat. So those pounds are water. You don't gain fat that fast. And the water will go back away. You don't have to make up for it, dog. Like straight up. Let's go to the gym, man. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to go to the gym. It's almost 2 o'clock. In the morning, I own the gym. Nobody's there. You know what I'm saying? But I need to stop telling people that though, because people be trying to pop up. Who want to work out? Which I don't do. The, I don't do workout partners, dog. <laughs> man, I do sitting. Man, try to sit a grown man. Try to sit in my lap, bro. Yeah, man. So I'm waking up. But what was that? 168. Plus I was holding my phone. I'm gonna just say 167. And guess what? I just did. I just put this phone down, and I went in there and I peed. It was a decent pee too. So. Probably another half a pound. Yo, dude, if you control your cheat days and have cheat meals instead of cheat days, you be straight. Don't just have a cheat day where you just all out eat. You can. I'm not telling you what to do. I would never do that because I would never let nobody tell me what to do. You know, suggestions, advice, whatever, but don't tell me what to do, so I ain't gonna tell nobody else what to do. Same respect, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're going to go at the gym. Especially the people that we, man, the people that be trying to tell me what to do, they only wait until they see my successes, and then they, uh, what you need to do, dog? Uh, dog, I'm way more further to the goal than you are, bro. Like, come on, man. If I'm further, if I'm closer to your goal is, than you are, uh, Drive me crazy, bro. All right, y'all. We made it to the gym. It's like 2.30 almost. I'm going to show y'all what I mean by... But before I do, give me, give me give you a little pro tip. Do not be hanging at this lobby. You shouldn't be hanging out anyway. You're working out. But people will try to knock on that window and try to let, get you to let them in. You know what I'm saying? Also, look at that. Nobody over there by the cardio. This is the beauty of uh, coming in at this time, man. Nobody over there, nobody over there sitting in those chairs. All day, people would just be sitting right there and talking and laughing. Uh, then they leave the gym right there and done something. Goals fit, the recovery room, nobody's in there. Almost ran into that pole. Nobody's over there. You see the lights come on as I walk past. Nobody on these treadmills doing no cardio all day. None of my business what they do or don't do. Nobody in ladies' goals. Nobody in this little area, this other cardio area right there, the ladies' goals area right there. Somebody is over there by the weights over there, but that's cool. He over there getting it in. Goals burn, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody on these bikes, nobody in here like that. You know what I'm saying? This is the beauty GGX room, whatever that means. I don't. But enough of all that, man. I'm about to go hit these dumbbell presses. Nobody over there by my area where I usually squat and deadlift. 
You know what I'm saying? But we over here by the dumbbells now. Well, close to it. Um, but yeah, one dude was in there. And I was trying not to get him on camera. See the dumbbells and all these benches right here that I'm using today? They're mine. I can pick and choose which one I want. I can use them all, one or the other, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? The dumbbells, they're all mine. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's better than... This rack right here, the 105s to the 125s, always dusty. You know why? Nobody in this gym can use these except me and a few other people, man. And a few other people that be using them, ha, <laughs> they be doing them wrong, cheating. So, point of advice is you want the bench to be close to the dumbbells you're shooting for. You know, so you won't have to walk way over there. Let me show you what time it is, man. It's 2.25 in the morning. You know, this ain't for everybody. You know, my deadlift area, I would deadlift, but I don't have time to deadlift because if you're deadlifting heavy, um, you need time in between sets to focus. A lot of people are like, man, why are you taking so long to do your set? What was I doing right here? I use my water bottle to uh, as a tripod. I got equipment. I'm starting off with the 45s. I always say start off low. What's low to me and what's low to you is two different lows. I'm stronger than you, I'm pretty sure. Um, no offense, but I'm just saying, like, don't just do something that somebody stronger than you is doing. This is lightweight to me. This is warm-up weight. Start with what's warm-up and what's light to you. If it's 10 pounds, whatever, swallow your pride, man. At the end of the day, I'm not going to judge you. You know what I'm saying? There are going to be people in the gym judging you. Some people will try to sugarcoat and be like, oh, nobody's. Yes, there are, bro. There's going to be people that's going to judge you. But look, you see how I kind of jerk right there? You see, I'm just, I'm, what I'm telling you is, just imagine these weights falling on your face. I'm just holding them in the air just to tell you that. Imagine these weights falling on your face. A 45-pound weight on your face ain't going to be pretty. Why am I telling you that, you ask? Because I'm trying to tell you to be safe in the gym, man. Um, also, this is called the incline. You know, I do um, lower incline. If you do anything higher than that, you're going to hit more shoulders than you are chest. Lower than that, the flat bench or either the decline, those are a lot easier to do. But um, the incline is going to hit your upper chest more. So you want to do a combination of both. So I just did the 45 pounds. Now I'm going to do 50s. Then I'm going to go 55s and up, and I'm going to start going up and up and up and up. And that's another thing I hate in the gym is, like, people know that's what you're going to do. And in between every time you lift and then put the weights back, those are five-pound dumbbells. All right? Those right there are very different than these right here or anything in between. See all that? You're lifting that and you're lifting it wrong, you're going to hurt yourself. Leave people alone in the gym, man. I had a 10-pound plate one time, like this, fall on my foot. And it almost broke my foot. Straight up, 10 pounds. Just think about what 125 pounds will do. It's like a car crash. You got to think, man. You have to think. You got to, man. And why am I doing voiceovers instead of talking to y'all? Because you see that right there in the music, I mean, on uh, the ceiling? That's a speaker, man. And they're all throughout the gym, and they play copyrighted music 24 hours a day i wish i knew how to turn it off i would even if i was to get in trouble so i'm gonna go ahead and do the 55s or did i do the 50s no i couldn't decide on whether i want to do the 50s or the 55 so i went and did the 52.5s and anything after that doesn't have like medium numbers like that you know what i'm saying weird awkward numbers so i'm gonna do the 55 or the 52.5s still warming up you know what i'm saying always advise warm up do not just go in the gym and lift the heaviest weights that you possibly can straight off the gate. Live light, then lift a little heavier, lift a little heavier, lift a little heavier, lift a little heavier. If you're not, these are weights. Weights are supposed to be heavy. It's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be hard. People only go in the gym and try to do the easiest thing they can possibly do. And that's why they make no progress. A lot of people say, you're supposed to lift light weight with high reps. Well, if the weight is too light, then you're not going to build any muscle, bro. You know, initially, yeah. When you're a newbie, yeah. 
but you want to be able to lift some heavier weights. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you need to do the hundreds and the hundred and fives or whatever, but as a grown man, you should be able to do more than your body weight. So here's the 60s. I'm still warming up. Um, I got videos of me doing 125s. I got videos of me doing three. But yeah, man, just a little food for thought. Actually, I'm cooking food right now as I'm doing the voiceover. But if you go in the gym and you lifting crazy, then you're going to get hurt. If you lifting too light, you got to find that happy medium. You know what I'm saying? If you lifting too light, you're not going to get no results. If you lifting too heavy to the point where you got bad form or it's about to fall on your head or something like that, then you're going to get hurt. Or you're going to mess up your bones or something. You know what I'm saying? You got ligaments, you got tendons, you got this and that and the third. I kind of was leaning off the bench a little bit. And I've been doing that lately. You know what I'm saying? Also, you got to be mindful of stuff like that. You know, it don't matter if you've been lifting for your whole life. You're going to make mistakes here and there. I was kind of leaning towards the side a little bit. You want to be centered. You know what I'm saying? If you're leaning off the side, you're going to put a lot of stress on your shoulder. Also, you want to look forward. You don't want to be turning your head different ways and stuff like that. You want to be centered. You know what I'm saying? The heavier you go, the more important that is. The lighter you are, the lighter you go. A lot of people say, oh, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. You know, no, I do that all the time. Yeah, you lifting light weight. I never get hurt. Yeah, because you're in there pussyfooting. You know what I'm saying? There's a big difference, all right? Also, I feel like the shirt, the shirt that I'm wearing is um kind of slippery. You know what I'm saying? It's only my second time wearing this shirt. Um, Yeah, a lot of people will say, oh, that don't matter because you lifting light weight, bro. If you've never been under no heavy weight, you don't know what it feel like. That wasn't really heavy. I'm just saying, like, it will push you to the side, man. You got to remember, man, I'm only 168 pounds, bro. Or 65 or whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm trying to hit these heavier weights today. I don't really see it happening. Because I don't really feel like, you know what I'm saying, that it's going to happen. Um, also, those lights went off. That's a good sign. And nobody's been right there for a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit these 70s. And if I don't feel right after these 70s, um, I'm going to go ahead and hang it up. Because I'm not feeling like the weight is moving correctly today. There's going to be ups and downs, man. Every Strength is not linear. Every workout ain't going to be the best workout in the world. I'm going to link below me hitting those 125s. And I'm pressed for time. So, it's like I'm not really that pressed for time. But um, you got to remember, I'm in the gym by myself. If I was to injure myself, there's nobody to save my butt. So there's pros and cons. To yeah, there's pros and cons to coming to the gym by yourself. So, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you what you do. I can't tell you what to do. I can just tell you what I do. You can take it or leave it. Um, I was signaling that I'm moving up in weight. Um, I'm kind of thinking about it, like, man, should I do it, should I not do it? That was easy. I got some good reps. So moving up in weight should not be hard. It's just the way that I'm feeling. I've, I've benched three times this week already, so I'm kind of fatigued off a of bench. Um, so I'm thinking, man, should I do the 75, should I do the 80s? You know what I'm saying? Should I do the 80s? If I go higher than that, I'm going to flatten out the bench. You know what I'm saying? Flat bench is easier than incline. But I thought about it, man. I'm kind of pressed for time. It's 312. Not pressed for time. It's just I don't have time to sit there and think. If I can't make a decision, then I should just leave. So that's what I ended up doing. You know what I'm saying? So I left. I feel like I got some work in. You know what I'm saying? Better than nothing. Not better than what I get usually. But it's, it's better than nothing because I didn't get injured at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Being in there and forcing it will get you, most likely will get you, not worth getting injured. Y'all seen me already. I don't, have to, I don't have to prove nothing to the camera, man. I got videos of me doing all kinds of stuff. So, hi, right, here's some old footage. Like I said, I got videos of me doing all kinds of stuff. I don't have anything to prove. I just, I'd rather be safe. You know what I'm saying? Rather be safe.